Japan is one of the major investors in Myanmar and members of the Japanese Chamber of Commerce are in Yangon to get an update on the Thilawa Special Economic Zone and other investment opportunities. Construction is underway at the Tiloa Special Economic Zone, which is one of the three special economic zones. Japanese investors believe the completion of the site will solve some of Myanmar's infrastructure problems. There are several uh, infrastructure-related problems which hampers the Japanese potential investors, like uh, shortage of the electricity and like uh, shortage of the appropriate industrial parks. But I think the Chilao SEZ project could solve all the infrastructure-related problems. At the meeting, potential ambassadors receive information on the status of economic zones. So as you know that uh, there are three special economic zones, but for the time being, uh, the only special economic zones that has started the construction happens to be the Tilawa SEZ. So we explain about the, the, the hard infrastructures development and soft infrastructures development in the Tilawa SEZ. The Tilawa Special Economic Zone may be completed by the end of the year. Japanese government has pledged as much as 1,000 million U.S. dollars as the soft loan to Myanmar government. Utilizing a part of that soft loan, the lot of infrastructure facilities like uh, power, power station, bridges, roads, or uh, water, and uh, expansion of the port, that kind of infrastructure facilities will be implemented by uh, Japanese uh, soft loan. According to Mr. Takahara, low labor costs means labor intensive industry such as garment factories, food processing, and automated industries could set up in Myanmar once the infrastructure is in place. QR Go for MITV, Myanmar International Television.